Hello and welcome back to a new video on my channel. Astrophotographers often ask questions like, should I start with a lens or with a telescope into the hobby of astrophotography? And in this video I would like to answer that question. So over the past few years I have used both lenses and telescopes for deep sky astrophotography and I've captured different images with these different setups. And in this video I would like to introduce two of my setups to you, so one with a lens, another one with a telescope. Actually I've captured the exact same object with both setups in this video I would like to compare these different images, so one image that was captured with a lens and another one that was captured with a telescope. So in this video I would like to compare these different images and I would like to compare the different setups and talk about the advantages and disadvantages of using both setups for deep sky astrophotography. But now let's get started. Before introducing the two setups to you I would like to mention that this video is not sponsored and not being paid for it. All products shown in this video were purchased by myself and the opinions about these products are my own. So now I would like to introduce the first setup to you. It consists of a Skywatcher HEQ5 Pro go to mount. On the top, I've mounted the 75 to 300 mm lens in combination with the Canon EOS 600D. Furthermore, for controlling the camera, I've used a remote shutter release cable. For controlling the mount, I've used the hand controller that comes with the mount. And this is actually the entire Deep Sky astrophotography setup. Now I would like to introduce the second setup to you that I've used for capturing an image of the Pleiades star cluster. So this setup consists of an HEQ5 Pro go to mount, so the same mount I've used for the first setup. On the top I've attached my telescope, which is the Skywatcher 150-750 PDS telescope. On the top I've attached my guiding system, so I've used a 60mm guide scope. And at the back of this guide scope I've attached my guiding camera, which is the CWO ASI 120mm mini mono guiding cam. As my main camera I've used the Canon EOS 2000D in combination with a coma corrector that should help me to achieve perfect images of the Pleiades star cluster. For controlling the entire deep sky astrophotography setup I've used the CWO ASI Air Pro. So this is actually the entire deep sky astrophotography setup I've used for capturing this image of the Pleiades star cluster. So as you can see there are differences between using both setups. So the second setup is definitely more expensive compared to the first one, but there are also differences when it comes to the focal length of both setups. I know that it's very difficult to answer that question whether you should start with a lens or with a telescope into the hobby of astrophotography. So in this case I just wanted to compare both setups to you in order to show you how much of a difference there is. For sure it's very difficult to compare these different results because the second setup is more expensive. So when buying a better lens for astrophotography, the second image would be much better, that's for sure. So I've used the lens and the telescope I already had for this test. Furthermore, it's very important to mention that the lens I've used is not the best lens that you can use for astrophotography, but still it's a very affordable lens. So if you're planning to get started into the hobby of astrophotography, the 75 to 300 mm lens is definitely a great choice because it's very affordable, which is great if you are planning to get started into the hobby of astrophotography. I know that there are different opinions about this topic. Some people say it's better to get started with a lens to the hobby of astrophotography, and some people say that it's better to get started with a telescope into the hobby of astrophotography. Now I would like to talk a bit about the advantages and disadvantages of starting with a lens or a telescope into the hobby of astrophotography. I mean the very first aspect is the price. So when starting with a lens into the hobby of astrophotography it's definitely more affordable that's for sure. So when planning to get started with a telescope into the hobby of astrophotography you need to buy a bigger mount. That's very important. So if you're planning to get started with a lens into the hobby of astrophotography then your equipment will not be that heavy. So therefore you can use a small mount such as a small star tracker. But when planning to buy a bigger telescope your equipment will be relatively heavy and therefore you need a bigger mount such as the Skywatcher HEQ5 Pro go to mount. So this is already the very first aspect and furthermore when planning to buy a lens for astrophotography it's not necessary to use a guiding system because the focal length is relatively short but when planning to buy a telescope let's say with a focal length of 800 millimeters, it's definitely necessary to use a guiding system and that is definitely more expensive compared to just using a lens and a camera. Furthermore, as I have already mentioned, when planning to buy a bigger telescope for astrophotography, you have to buy a bigger mount and therefore the telescope will become relatively heavy. So I have started with my big telescope into the hobby of astrophotography and sometimes it was too heavy for me to set it up. So when there are only a few hours of total clear skies, I usually do not set up my telescope because it's simply too heavy. Therefore having a very portable setup is a big advantage definitely because you can set up your equipment relatively easy because it's very portable. But on the other side when using a bigger telescope for astrophotography you have to spend more time on 
setting up your equipment. Another advantage of using lenses for deep sky astrophotography is that these lenses are relatively fast, so you can capture at f2.8 or even faster. But on the other side, those telescopes are usually a bit slower, so let's say f4 or f5. So there's definitely a big difference between these different lenses and telescopes. But these lenses for sure also have disadvantages. And a big disadvantage of using lenses for astrophotography is for sure the focal length. So for sure it's relatively difficult to say whether the focal length is suitable or not, but for sure when planning to capture smaller galaxies, for example, these lenses are not that suitable. For sure you can capture very wide field images of those galaxies, but when planning to capture details in galaxies, those lenses are usually not that suitable. For sure there are also galaxies that are suitable for lenses, for example, but most galaxies are too small for those lenses, so the focal length is simply too short. Therefore, on the other side, those telescopes are very suitable for those smaller deep sky objects, but on the other side, it's relatively difficult to say which focal length is more suitable for deep sky astrophotography because there are different objects in night sky. So, for example, in, in summer, there are great objects in night sky, such as the North American Nebula, for example. And when planning to capture the North American Nebula, it can be very helpful to use a, a shorter focal length because that helps you to capture a wider region of the night sky. But you can also capture the North American Nebula with a longer focal length. Furthermore, it's very important to mention that when using lenses for astrophotography, a guiding system is not necessary, which will help you to keep your setup simple. Therefore, it's very difficult to say which setup is better for you, but for sure, when planning to get started into the hobby of astrophotography, starting with a lens will be easier for you because the focal length will be shorter and therefore it will be easier for you to achieve round stars. I started into the hobby of astrophotography with a big telescope and as you can see I was able to capture amazing results in the beginning. So in the beginning it was relatively difficult for me to set up the entire equipment and it was difficult for me to achieve perfect tracking. So definitely when starting with a longer focal length into the hobby of astrophotography it will be more difficult. So as you can see you can even start with a longer focal length into the hobby of astrophotography. Whether you should start with a lens or with a telescope depends on the objects you would like to capture. So in the beginning I plan to capture capture smaller objects such as galaxies and therefore it was important for me to choose a telescope with a longer focal length. So when looking at the images of the Pleiades star cluster, you can definitely see that I was able to bring out more structures when using the bigger telescope, that's for sure. But on the other side, capturing wide field images of the night sky is also very interesting. So in the end, it's your decision, so you have to decide whether you would like to have more magnification or less, whether you would like to capture smaller galaxies or wide field images of the night sky. For sure it will be easier for you to start with a lens into the hobby of astrophotography, but in the end I would choose a setup that is suitable for the object you would like to capture. In general it's very difficult to answer that question because there are both adventures and disadventures for a lens and for a telescope. So this is actually everything I have planned to mention. If this video was interesting and helpful to you, I would really appreciate a like and a subscription. Otherwise, thank you so so much for watching and until next time. Clear skies, Felix.